Hi, this is Joey Reynolds. I have obviously moved out of the Situation Comedy Room, and I'm outdoors just like Scott Pelly. Pellin, Pelly on CBS. He's got that beautiful Parisian suit on when he was uh, having the city of Paris behind him. And I have my uh, own GQ look, but mine is a little bit more in the tropics. And uh, I, I have my eagle tie, and I'm patriotic. I just want to show CBS that you can do this with an iPhone, and you don't need 14 people and a trip to uh, East Bejesus to have a good show. You just have a guy who really stands there and uh, talks about things that are current. For instance, the frankenfish. You know what that is? They are now taking salmon and genetically producing it so that we are eating fake fish. It's, uh, it's, it's some sort of a method that's been approved by the FDA. They gave the approval for this fish, this frankenfish, they call it, like Frankenstein, you know, sewn together. It's a fish that is farm-raised, not out of the North Atlantic where we get the big salmon from Alaska. But this is the salmon that they grow on the farms, but they're prompting it to grow faster. It's like they used to put, I guess it was uh, calves, you know, they would... They would fatten them, put them in a little corral, and just feed them. And pigs, they do that, so they get fat real fast, and then we slaughter them and eat them. Oh, how attractive is that? Uh, we don't call it pig. We call it pork. <laughs> they got to find a new name for the salmon, Franken-salmon. I, I don't think that's a good marketing thing, even for Whole Foods, you know, <laughs> where they're famous for this pure food. <laughs> but this is genetic. It means that it's like the first time we'll be eating fake food. Well... I've, I've had a lot of experience with that because I've had McNuggets. That's, that, those used to be, I thought, I thought they were chicken mixed with sawdust or something. That's, that's not true. <laughs> but you know, we're, we're, we're poisoning each other. <laughs> and, and we're complaining that people are trying to kill us. We're, we're killing ourselves by eating this food. Now, that's not my whole mission. I didn't want to get on the air and just uh, make a big thing out of it. I just wanted to show you that I have a nice suit. And I know that we're going to be eating fake fish, and uh, pretty soon you won't be seeing me anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll be gone from here, and I'll be looking at the age of George Lucas, who looks like my grandfather. He's having a fight with Walt Disney because Disney's putting out Star Wars, not consulting him. That happens when you pay for a franchise. And they're building a theme park on both Disney World and Disneyland, a, a Star Wars franchise, which is huge. They paid for it. And George Lucas feels like he was left out and he's got a divorce and he doesn't want to complain, but he certainly is going to enjoy the alimony, the money that he got for the franchise. You know that. And the uh, Star Wars movie hasn't even opened yet and he's belly aching. But he did come up with a good idea and it is a fantasy and May the Force Be With You came actually from the police who were at the Watts riot in California and Chief Davis had the uh, sewers with the cops coming out of the sewers with guns and uh, wishing them, may the force be with you, you know. <laughs> they put that in the movie. <laughs> made, it a, made it a way of life. Uh, so he, uh, George feels that, that uh, I worked on it. You know, I worked on Star Wars. I was a creative director of 20th Century Fox. And he feels that this is a family story. It's not science fiction, but a story about a family. That's what Star Wars is. So, it, uh, well, I, I have a mother-in-law who reminds me of Darth Vader, so I, it's not too far from the truth. <laughs> And uh, I got in trouble. I, I designed these uh, uh, garbage can covers for theater lobbies that were uh, R2-D2 made out of, they were fabricated, uh, uh, what were they, cardboard that went over, the, went over the, the, the entire garbage pan. I don't think George liked the idea that R2-D2 was going to be a trash receptacle in a theater lobby. Wasn't really happy with that. But then too, I was eating fake popcorn. So let's go back to that fake fish now. Come on, what do they give us? Fake butter. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll get off of this. It's a, it's a, it's a Reynolds wrap. Like my suit?